it's never a bad thing to have anyway. Especially if he pumps up DTs or you know, anything like that. Comes in with some Phoenix Harass. It, it never hurts to have a Sport Colony though. Forehammer, thinking about moving out, changed his mind. I guess he uh, realized his forces weren't strong enough. I have enough roaches here that he probably wouldn't have done any damage, really. He probably would have killed a bunch of roaches, and that would have been that. He would have lost his whole force, more or less, so he wisely, wisely backs out. What do we got coming in here? Another gateway, four gate. Still no starport for him. Twilight Council. Researching Psionic Storm. Never a good thing, never a good thing. The Psionic Storm is not friendly towards Hydras. Not so bad against Roaches, but against Hydras, you definitely want to avoid those storms. We'll see how I do with that. Just building up my army here. Horrible, horrible saturation on my expansion. I don't know what I'm waiting for here. Christmas, maybe. It's only a couple months away, I guess. And completely oversaturated on my main. Look at that. 30, I don't know, 27, 28 uh, drones on the mineral line. Probably going to look to do uh, a transfer soon. We shall see. Still pumping out units. Hydra's coming. Uh, range 1, I believe, is coming for... Yeah, Range 1 is coming for my, uh, for my units as well. There you go. Saturation's looking a little better in, uh, in my expansion. He's got his expansion down. Really good saturation. Protoss can pump out drones like there's no tomorrow with those uh, with those Chrono Boosts. And it's a real, real, real bonus to have. Zerg should get Chrono Boost, I think. I, I mean, that's fair, right? I mean, I don't know. I guess we have spawn larvae, so kind of makes kind of makes up for it. Still nothing exciting happening. I'm spending well. I have a little, little bit too much gas, but, you know, when you're going Hydras, 100 minerals, 50 gas, you're going to have, you're going to have excess gas if you just focus straight on Hydras, so. And I'm thinking about going on the offense at this point, and that is why I dropped my second expansion. <coughs> Always good to expand when you're on the offense, just because your opponent's not thinking about your expansions, he's thinking about, you know, defending his expansion, so. I dropped an expansion. I think I'm going to move out pretty shortly. Weapons 1 and Armor 1 going down for uh, for Foxhammer right now. He's doing a little upgrading of his own. Good to keep up, so... An Overseer morphing in as well. I'm probably... At this point, I haven't done too much scouting. Dark Templars are a possibility, so... I'm going to chuck one of those uh, Overseers with my attacking force, which is moving out now. And uh, hope for the best. Creep. Spreading. Meh. Okay. Could be a lot better. At least I connected my two bases. You know. Can't ask for much more, right? Alright, here we go. Roaches and Hydras moving out. Uh, it's a mediocre force for him. He's really Zealot heavy. Zealots don't do overly well against Roaches. They do well if they can get a good surround on him. Uh, that's probably why he was upgrading the charge ability, so we'll see. We'll see how they go. Upgrades still aren't finished with them. Here comes my force. Would have been nice if I had my creep extended all the way down here, and these units would just fly down here, but that's not going to happen. All right, here we go, moving in. Roaches should be in front of the Hydras. They're not, unfortunately. There go the psionic storms, absolutely tearing apart my Hydra lists. Good thing my roaches are in the back. They're eating up the Zealots. They're getting psionic stormed. It's not doing nothing to him. So they're going to move up. He's poorly macroing his, uh, his his Templar, so they're getting shredded down. And he pretty much just cleans that up. It wasn't uh, it wasn't an endgame push. It was kind of just a, a feel-him-out push. And, well, I felt him out, and he kicked my ass. So, But that's how it goes sometimes. My forces, I'm building them up quickly. I'm running off three hatches. So My spawning, or my uh, injecting, you know, not so good. Got a lot of build up. 77, 111. Oh, this one's fresh, so yeah. My forces, like I said, building up again. Two or uh, zero two upgrades on them. You no, know, at least some upgrading. You know, it's all good. Dropping an infestation pit. Probably thinking about some infestors. 
maybe thinking of some hive tech. Who knows? Who knows at this point? Doing a little transfer because I was extremely, extremely heavy on that base. I believe I'm going to move those to the third expansion. Yes, I am. Which just went up. I'm going to try to get that saturated and situated. Extractor's going down. I'm a little gas shy now, so at this point I'm just looking to keep up. If you look at the production tab. Lots of roaches coming in. Couple zerglings. Couple hydras. If you look at the income right now. Pretty, pretty even on the harvesters. Pretty even on the income. Pretty even on the gas. So at this point we're pretty even. He's thinking about moving out at this point. The force, I don't know, maybe a little Templar heavy. We'll 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 see how it does. But uh, I've got a pretty heavy Roach Hydra force here. Still zero two upgrades on them. Couple Zerglings in there, no upgrades on them, except for the speed, of course. Creep starting to expand and stretch right out there. Doing a little better with that. He's sitting on the end of it, wondering, hmm, what should I do? Should I go in? Is he gonna kick my ass? I don't know. He decides that it's not the right time for him, so he's just gonna back up. At this point, I figured he was coming in, so I'd split my forces, boom, boom, to try to get like a pincer attack on him, you know. But he didn't come. He ruined my plans. It would have been beautiful. Would have been for a great, great replay. He's still getting his unit upgrades. I'm getting Overlord speed, armor two, I believe, armor one, armor two, armor one. For my ground forces. At this point, he's taking his third as well. Forces are dangerously close. I foresee a conversation. Confrontation. Conversation. Well, it'll be a conversation, that's for sure. Boom, here we go. A little better placement with the roaches and the hydras. Not perfect, but majority of my roaches are up front. I'm getting cyanic storm to shit. And it didn't do too much for some reason. Oh, here come a couple more. A couple more units dying. A lot of my Hydra's dying. Roaches, beefy. Just taking it like a champ. Cleaning up the small force here at this point. Pretty much decide it's time to... A little push anyway. I'm going to move out. I'm going to hit his, uh, his second expansion. At the same time, pumping out more roaches. Lots more roaches. Just to reinforce these forces as they go in here. I'm moving right in right into his probe line. Stop attack, stop attack. In come the zealots. And this is not good. They have a semi-surround on me, front and back. And these roaches are just going to go down at this point. More roaches coming in. Lots more roaches coming in. Some more hydras, uh, some more hydras coming in as well. Second expansion, looking a little better. Saturation, meh. You do much better on the saturation. At this point, though, I know he's only got the two expansions. I've got some overlords pooping creep here. Some more creep being pooped here. So even if he did come with a probe, he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't make a nexus here. He'd have to. He'd have to kill those overlords. Little action going on here. I think Roach is moving out. Wondering what to do. I think they're gonna go hit that expansion. So hitting the suspension, meantime, as you can see, 18 roaches queuing up, spire going down, hive being, uh, hive being warped in. Look at all these Templar, look at all these Templar coming in, absolutely just fucking annihilated. Sorry about that. And I am definitely going to take out this expansion. And he's forced to back up and run away. At this point, I don't know, I figured I'd kill the gases. I wait for my reinforcements to come in and try to make a final push on his uh, on his natural. What has he got over here? A couple zealots. If you look at the units. He's got eight zealots. That's it. I've got nine hydras, 42 roaches, three queens. So, I mean, he's really, really got nothing. He's warping in a couple Templar. Warping in lots of Templar. Ten Templar. He's still trying for that storm. It, it's just not working for him. It's working on the Hydras. It's just not working on the Roaches. So at this point, you know, he's been beat down. He's got two Templar left. I've got 37 Roaches. He, he has nothing to take care of them. So I'm just going to work on this expansion. But, you know, in my mind, it's, it's already a GG.
And there's a GG from him. He's done. He's beat. So, not too much you can do about that. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed my second cast. See ya.